What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ericsson removable motorcycle wheel chalk. You're going to benefit from these wheel chalks in a couple different ways. One, whenever you're strapping down your bike, it's always a problem whenever your front wheel is trying to turn while you're strapping everything up. Of course, we have straps going from the far right and the far left of our handlebar. So if we tighten down one, it's going to want to turn. So with this, it's going to keep it nice and confined inside of the chalk. Another thing is usually I go ahead and take the front of my tire and push it all the way up against these shelves right behind you, but then I can't have access to my spare or any of my shelves. So with this way, I can actually go ahead and get in from this side of the door. I have all this room and I still have everything nice and secure. The chalk is going to be nice and shiny. It has a triple chrome plated steel tubing. So it is going to resist against rust and corrosion over time. Even if you don't put it in an enclosed trailer, let's just say you put it on a normal trailer and the elements get to it. You don't have to worry about it rusting away. It is going to fit tire widths up to six inches for so for your Harleys or your street bikes. It's going to be great for that too. As far as dimensions go, we're going to have a length of 11 and three quarter inches. We are going to have a width of eight and a quarter inches and a height of eight and a half inches. But the good thing about this is when you're not using it, you can go ahead and remove it. The nice thing about it being removable is we can spend the time to put the mounts where we want it, but then we don't really have to worry about it if we're not using this trailer for hauling dirt bikes or a motorcycle or a scooter or whatever. You can just go ahead and take it out like this, throw it wherever. So if you use this enclosed trailer on the weekdays for mowing or some sort of business, you can take this out and load all your stuff up. And then whenever it's time to ride, just grab this and it's super quick and easy to get it mounted into place. Our mounting brackets here are gonna be two inches in diameter. So they're gonna be about a quarter of an inch thick. And we're gonna have two of them stacked on top of each other. So it's not really gonna be that much sticking out. So it's not really going to really affect the floor at all. You don't have to worry about running over it and something happening to the wheel you run it over with. It's just gonna be nice and flush against there. Another thing is, if you're looking to mount this somewhere, the holes from center to center are spaced apart about an inch and a quarter inches apart. So just to sum it all up, if you have a two wheeled vehicle that has a tire width of six inches or less, I would definitely recommend getting a chalk. If you're just looking for a chalk, I recommend getting one that is removable like this, whether it's the T-Track removable type wheel chalk or one like this. I really like it just because it's super low profile. I can take it in and out in a second. So my trailer can be prepared for almost anything I throw at it. The first thing I want you to do is just kind of envision where your bike's gonna be inside the trailer. I would like it to be in the center, but also I have some tie down points that I want to use. So I want it to be in the middle of that. So once you kind of take that into consideration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it down where we want and I'm gonna actually draw a circle around this little circle here. And you'll see why in a second. So I think around here is good. To make it completely perfect, what I'm gonna do is just put a dot in the very center. That's just gonna help us line it up. So now what we wanna do is we wanna take our brackets here. We're gonna have two different kinds. One just gonna have a shape like that and the other one's gonna be like a little channel that the that little circle is gonna fit through and slide around. So we're gonna put the one that is bigger on the bottom. That's just gonna act as our spacer. We wanna make sure that both of them are facing the right direction. And then what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that the skinnier part is gonna be facing forward. So meaning whenever we drive our motorcycle in, it's gonna push these little studs up and into that channel so it's not gonna get loose. So make sure you do that. And then we're gonna line these up with that dot right in the middle at the top of the narrowest part of that channel. So now with them in place, what we're gonna do is we are going to mark the holes because we're gonna have to do some drilling to get everything installed. So go ahead and do that. Make sure it doesn't move on you. We're gonna do that same exact thing for both sides. So I'm going to be using a 7 30 seconds inch drill bit to drill these out. It's perfect size for the hardware we're using. So 
So now what we want to do is just stack these brackets correctly, and then we're going to run our bolts through the holes. It's going to be a little tight. So now when we go down underneath our trailer, what we're going to do is we're going to put a washer, a pressure washer, and then a nut down. And we are going to need two sets of hands for this because someone needs to take the Allen key and hold this tight while you go underneath there and tighten it up. You are going to need a deep well socket. I'm using an 11 millimeter right now. Make sure it's nice and tight. Well, now pretty much ready to put the chalk on. Now it's time to take our chalk and put it into the little slots and we are ready for the bike. Well, everything's all set up, so might as well go ahead and take the bike and start loading it up. So for me, what I'm using is some shock straps. Basically, they are the best whenever tying down any sort of wheeled vehicle, in my opinion. And these do come with soft straps. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is use the strap to wrap it around my bars and then take the hook and go through that little strap. This way, I'm not gonna have to worry about scratching my bars. These are aftermarket bars and I wanna keep them pretty. That's why I bought them. So definitely pick up some of these. One thing to note, this isn't holding up my bike. So if you're doing this by yourself, what I suggest doing is just taking one of your straps, hooking it on to where it's kind of leaning that way and it'll stay up by itself and then go ahead and take the other strap and strap on the other side. Ideally, we have extra hands, but Sometimes I'm riding alone, so this is the solution for that. And for the back, what I do is just bring it through my airbox and hook it up somewhere farther back than where I did put it through my bike, just like that. And we are pretty much good. Well, I hope this video helped you get an idea of if you're really in the market for a motorcycle wheel chalk. But again, this one was the Ericsson removable motorcycle wheel chalk. And I'm Adam with E-Trailer.